Good morning, guys. July 8th, 2022. I'm at um, pulling into a call for no AC. New customer, never been here before. Uh, so I don't know how many units are here or what's wrong, but we'll check it out when we get inside. A little bumpy. How you guys doing? Uh, what's going on? It's all right. I think this mom, the, the dog walked up. I love dogs anyway. Oh, and this dog is very, very sweet. Okay. So, I love even the mean ones too. But come on in. All, all right, let me grab my shoe covers. I'm sorry. One sec. Okay guys, I have a 1987 air handler inside Hydro. Um, Bryant carrier. And the homeowner had another company out here tried selling a new unit. So I heard the fan motor not running. It's a 15 microfarad capacitor. Or I'm sorry, a 10 microfarad capacitor. So I threw in a 10 microfarad capacitor here with this turbo and the fan motors shot but that doesn't mean they need a new system what that means is they need a new fan motor and I don't care of the year as long as they said like they or they did say it was cooling before the fan motor went so it's not like we're taking a chance with parts and all that other non stuff nonsense um, let me see what the condensers look like yeah, they're not quite as old are these the only two condensers you have? Yeah. Okay, so then you had a mixed match system at one time. That's cool. Okay. Was an addition? So the larger one is for the downstairs, the smaller one's for upstairs. This one being the one for upstairs? Yeah. Okay, and this is the one that I'm working on? Correct. Okay. Yeah, but believe it or not, if that fan is not working inside, this may still work. It may. I haven't seen that one on. Because you've had it off. Yeah. Because with the when a fan motor inside works or doesn't work, it doesn't know to to send the message out here. Yeah, no, we've had it off. Okay, so that's why. So you like if. Yeah, if you hear this one running, and that was on, even though you're not, this would ice up because the fan inside wasn't moving the air. But. So R22 mix match with a 1987 Bryant. That's good. Okay, so let me run downstairs and grab model series. Okay, so Your boy Mikey Pipes would love those. They just installed them. I don't think they worked though, he said. I'm not sure. It's not my cup of tea. Not a big fan either, but I can't talk shit about them. <laughs> like, I don't know anything about the company like that. All right, so anyway, so I swapped out this capacitor. I swiped out, I swapped out the capacitor that was reading 5.88 microfarads, and it's a 10. It's a 10 microfarad. It's reading 5.88. So I went ahead and swapped it with this turbo for microfarads. It's 10 microfarads. And what we get is that. So we'll go ahead and swap out the motor for them. I don't have one on the truck. We'll have to return to replace it later today or tomorrow. You don't build them like that anymore. 1987, that's a real thing. Okay, so 
one third horsepower, one fifteen. So what we have is we're gonna go ahead and replace it. They authorized the repair. I have to go to Johnstone and grab one. Cause I don't have a third horsepower on my truck. But I'm single speed, I mean it's direct drive. There's no way this is any type of I don't think. No, that's fine. That's just tapped into the speeds. Okay. Common. One and three. So it's got to be... It's got to have the option. Okay. John Stizzy from White Plizzy. So I'm going to John Stone and White Plains and uh, grab the fan motor. I hope it's... I hope it comes slides right out. Oh, it's, it'll slide right out. I hope the shaft... Is it like rusted on, welded on there? All right, so I'm back. I'm going to take these screws out here and here, top and bottom, or top sides. I'm going to cut this out back here. And then when I mount the new motor, I'll just wire nut them there. Rusty, pretty dirty. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, it's not spinning as freely as I thought, like before. I don't know, before I thought it was spinning more freely. emery cloth I'm gonna let that sit 15 minutes try to loosen it up yeah so I just want to give a shout out to um, I think it's anti D anti do it yourself I think it's anti DIY channel um, the other day I saw him doing a fan motor indoor fan motor like this it was kind of crusty and I believe he took like a mallet and he kind of just gave it a little tap here. And that's what I had to do here. So, and it went down.
my job to free it up. Now I'm gonna spin this, take these off, and hopefully it pulls right up. In a perfect world, we'll see if it does. All right, guys, so I wired it up. I was able to pull it out. Um, new capacitor, 7.5. I'm gonna flip it, set the set screw, make sure it spins freely, and um, I'll install it. there then I will wire this up and uh, actually let me pull these wires out I'm gonna pull these wires out That's the whole point of the Molex these through here the way it was i'll cut these shorter trim them up reset them hey guys so you see there's a down downward rotation i had to reverse the taps on the other side over here i had to reverse those because it was going the other way factory design now turn on the power there you go start running and test hills for you all right guys thank you for watching that's a um fan motor replaced i'm waiting for the homeowner to get back so i could test it with this indoor fan spinning but i haven't checked like the actual operation of cooling let me see if i can get in touch with them if not this will be the end of it but they got to pay me too so okay so we have 60.8 we have a high heat load in the house so it's good Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. All right, it's running. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Sorry I was so short when I just said it. It was just someone was coming. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good weekend.